name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. I confess. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, for he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. I love you, O Lord, my strength, O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord to hear my voice. The breakers of death surge round me. The destroying floods overwhelm me. The cords of the netherworld enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. My In my distress, Lord. I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. You stand. <coughs> Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, O Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I've shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You are a man, you a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, 
Is it not written in your law, I said you are gods? It, if it calls them gods to whom the, the word of God will come and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I, if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. First of all, today is Friday, and so the concentration on the passion of the Lord becomes very clear and very strong as we are in the season of Lent. We are called upon traditionally to remember to uh, um, observe the stations of the cross. And so the readings are really concentrating on that aspect of our life, that we must think about the fact that Jesus Christ because of his mission, faced many oppositions. But Jesus Christ is not the only one who, who faced those persecutions. You hear about the first reading in which Jeremiah is also dealing with similar things. Beloved, where do we find ourselves in these two places? Jeremiah facing oppositions, Jesus Christ facing oppositions. We may not be facing oppositions the way Jesus Christ did and the way Jeremiah did. Other parts of the world today still, yes, are still being persecuted, still being uh, literally uh, abducted and killed. Other parts of the world, I have seen uh, YouTube videos of people who have been arrested and forced to, to profess a faith that is contrary to our faith, we are not in that situation. Maybe it would have been easier. But what we face is a challenge that comes sometimes from very close to us and even more deeply from within us. From within myself, I hear a voice telling me, ah, why are you getting up so early? As you can sleep a little longer. I hear a voice that says, you don't have to go to mass every day. You have done well for three weeks. You can relax this last week. God is merciful. God is loving. You hear a voice in you that says, Think and plan about what happens after Mass. Mass is a routine that goes on. It will end no matter what, whether you pay attention or not. There are all kinds of things. And then in our own quiet moments, the temptations to do or not to do, some terrible things that when we later on reflect, we are so uncomfortable with ourselves. The devil is alive and well. If you don't believe it, talk to Jim, and Jim will, will, will tell you. That's his whole theology. He didn't come this morning, interestingly. <clears throat> the devil tries in many ways to make us fight ourselves against the good things that the Lord has implanted in us, against our own pledge, against our own vows, against our own commitment to serve the Lord in truth and in fairness. And sometimes... What is even more dangerous is when we have sinned and something tells us it's not so bad after all. It's not so terrible after all. You haven't killed anybody after all. You know, these are all tricks that the devil uses against us. And before we realize, if we don't, if we don't go closer and closer to penance, to confession regularly, thank God in this parish, there are many, many people who don't joke with confessions. And that's very important. 
because it helps us to be very sensitive to the fact that we are walking in this world against someone whose major goal is to drag us away from the Lord and to make us go to his path and to drag us away from where we ought to be. We came from God. We need to walk with God so that we can end up in God. Sometimes the devil allows certain difficulties to come our way. It could be in the form of somebody that we were very close to who now doesn't understand, agree with us. Sometimes it comes in the form of, of, of physical challenge, physical ailment that makes us doubt our faith or that makes us doubt whether God is present. These are some of the challenges that come our way so that even if we are not being challenged to be martyred, we still face challenges about faithfulness to the Lord. And so, my dear friends, let us pray and trust the responsorial psalm in which we said, in my distress, I called upon the Lord and he heard my voice. Let us call upon the Lord and he will always, always hear our voice. No matter how strong the distress is, no matter how sneaky the distress is, no matter how un unclear the distress may be, God will always hear our call. But we have to recognize him and call him. This morning we want to call him. So we have gathered around his table of the word in which he speaks to us to encourage us not to give up. This morning he has gathered us around his table of the, of the Eucharist to feed us, to give us the food that enlightens us, that, that sharpens our intelligence and sharpens our sensitivity to what is evil, to what is laziness, to what is the devil. This morning, let us open ourselves and in faith, rise up and speak to God and ask him to be close to us and to alert us about his presence among us. We are never alone. We are with God. God is with us. Whether we recognize that he is present or not, God is present. Let us pray. For the church, may Christ continue to bless her with all she needs to bring his love to the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For political leaders, may God fill them with his zeal in their efforts to protect the most vulnerable members of society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer at the hands of others, may the Lord grant them reprieve and bring them justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may our faith be strengthened by the good works God is performing here and now. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they soon rest in the perfect goodness of God's presence in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention in this Mass, for the living and deceased members of the Butler family, and for all souls in purgatory, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For peace in our hearts, for peace around us, for peace everywhere in the world, in Russia, in Ukraine, in the Gaza, in Palestine, in Israel, in Haiti, and in every place where there is turmoil, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Merciful Father, you have made us your sons and daughters by virtue of our baptism. Hear our prayers and answer them in accordance with your holy will. For we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, you, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed you, God, forever. God, we ask you to be pleased to sacrifice which we offer to you. 
humble our contrary hearts. Lord, what shall we all do? Let us pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our offering, yours and mine, may truly be acceptable to God, the Father of the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of our hands, the praise and glory of the Trinity, for our God and the glory of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars, and there to be saved by constant participation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endear. And so with all the angels and the saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in Christ, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and they praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, I will be thine, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Do not look at our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us now share the peace with one another. Ayons Dei, et on is peccata monti, misere reino vobis. Ayons Dei, et on is peccata monti, misere reino vobis. Ayons Dei, et on is peccata monti, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we who have come to share at the supper of the Lamb. Our Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Hear our protection against the wickedness of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implore thy help, also thy intercession, was recognized, inspired by his confidence, fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Have a pleasant day. Amen.